A LATAM flight from Los Angeles to Santiago had to make an emergency return to LAX after apparent electronics problems aboard the aircraft. The Boeing 787-8 circled over the Pacific to dump fuel before landing safely. The aircraft's Ram Air Turbine, or RAT, was visibly deployed, suggesting a significant power system issue on board the aircraft. On July 31st, the flight departed as normal at 1641 and was cleared by ATC to 23,000 feet, or FL-230. The crew then requested to level off at this altitude, saying this would be their final level. When ATC queried whether everything was okay, the crew hesitated a moment, then initially replied in the affirmative. The crew of the LATAM flight subsequently requested to lower their speed and, upon a second query from ATC, stated, We have Romeo Alpha Tango allotted. Essentially, their RAT, or Ram Air Turbine, had been deployed. Quickly here, for those who don't know what this is, the RAT is a small auxiliary propeller that can be deployed from the belly of an aircraft. Once extended, it harnesses the airflow generated by the aircraft's forward motion spinning a small turbine that powers essential systems. These include electronics, flight controls, navigation and communications, ensuring that the flight crew can maintain aircraft control and coordinate an emergency landing. The video you see here, captured by PDX Aviation, shows an American Airlines 787 with its RAT deployed. But back to the LATAM incident, Further discussion led the crew to request a return to Los Angeles, and it descended to 8,000 feet and made a number of circuits over the ocean while it dumped fuel for 30 minutes. From there, the aircraft carried out a safe landing and was able to taxi to its gate without assistance. While the pilots only reported the deployment of the RAT about 10 minutes into the flight, numerous observers on the ground indicated that they heard the sound of the RAT upon takeoff. An aircraft mechanic took to Reddit, saying, I was at the airport when the flight took off, and the aircraft sounded like a prop plane. It circled around, dumped fuel, and came back and landed safely. I got pictures and a video of it landing, and that's when I realized that the rat was deployed. I feel that's probably the sound we heard at takeoff. Not sure if it was an engine failure, as the plane had both running on landing, and both thrust reversers were deployed. Maybe an electrical malfunction. The airframe involved in this incident is registered Charlie Charlie Bravo Bravo India and is about 11 years old at the time of video production. While the pilots can extend the rat manually, it doesn't sound like that happened with Flight 603. Instead, there are a limited number of instances where the rat will deploy automatically, such as the loss of both engines or both engines at less than minimum idle RPM the loss of all hydraulic power or loss of hydraulic pressure and flight controls, or the loss of all electrical power or loss of power to transformer rectifier units. With the LATAM aircraft able to maneuver comfortably during the fuel dump, it suggests that flight controls were operating normally. Thus, it appears that electrical issues caused the deployment of the RAT, although that has yet to be confirmed. It is worth noting, though, that the Federal Aviation Administration recently identified a safety concern that Boeing 787 rat fittings could fail. While this could explain why the pilots appear to be taken by surprise by the deployment of the rat, it seems that for now, the FAA's concerns are limited to the 787-9 and Dash 10. What do you think of this incident? Let us know by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.